Hello, football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And again, I'm going to apologize. I've still got a lingering cough. It happens all the time. I get sick, I get over being sick, and then I have a cough that lingers for weeks and weeks. It's really annoying. But um, I'll apologize for that in advance. So my voice sounds a little raspy, and I will cough from time to time. But we have week 17 picks to go over. We got two more weeks left in this NFL season. And uh, this is week 17. Now, in week 16, I did not do all that well. I was 9-7. and seven. So I got one more game right than a monkey at the zoo would have gotten. So, um, or maybe a smart monkey at the zoo. You never know. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I was 9-7, and seven, and the Chargers had to step in and bail me out to make me 9-7 and seven because I went into the last four games, the three games on Christmas Day and then uh, the one on Monday night. And I went into those four games with eight games right. So I was thinking, all right, well, I'll get 10. I'll split those four. Nope, didn't do that. So I was nine and seven last week, which puts me at 146 and 94 on the year, over 60%, almost 61%. So I am hoping to uh, stay the course and do a little better even. Um, now, the last two weeks to stay above 60%, I have to maintain an average of nine wins. So I did that last week in week 16. Um, I would hope to at least do that and maybe get 10 or 11 right. Let's hope, you know, we'll see. Uh, it is getting harder and harder, though. Teams are starting to drop out of the race for, uh, a, you know, a, a, a playoff spot. Although with the new uh, system the NFL has, there are a lot of teams hanging on a lot longer than uh, normal. So, um we will um, definitely um, try to do better as we are going forward. So let's hope we do better this week. Uh, the first game uh, up is going to be, and this week, the NFL's back to their regular schedule. There will be a Thursday game, then all Sunday games, except for the Monday night game. No more Saturday games, or at least not this week. So the first one is the Thursday game, and this is the Cowboys and the Titans. This is a battle of wits between two unarmed opponents, Vrabel and uh, McCarthy. They're both idiots. Um, and the uh, Titans can't seem to beat bad teams, and Dallas seems to lose to bad teams and like i said both coaches are morons so i don't know really who's going to win this game but i'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's going to be dallas i'm going to take dallas in this game just because they have the offensive weapons and they should be able to overcome mike mccarthy's uh, idiocy whereas really vrabel doesn't have the offensive weapons he had a mediocre quarterback who got injured, and his rookie quarterback is no good, at least not right now. So that takes us to the Saturday games. The first game up is the Cardinals and the Falcons. And again, this is a game I have really no idea. Both teams suck. That's what you can say about them. They suck. And they're both using rookie quarterbacks who suck. So I really have to, I mean, the best thing I can do here is I'm going to take the Falcons just because they're at home. But neither team has a lot of weapons. Neither team is playing good football. Neither team has a veteran quarterback that you could rely on unless um, Colt McCoy is back from his concussion protocol or whatever he was on. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I got nothing for you there, but I'm going to, I'm going to say the Falcons cause they're at home. <coughs> Next one we have, this is another tough one. These are, there's a lot of tough games this week. 
This is the Patriots and the Dolphins. But Tua is going to be unavailable. And uh, with Tua unavailable and this game being in New England, with the Finns not being especially accustomed to cold weather, I am going to go with the Patriots and Bill Belichick, and he'll figure out a, a way to beat the Tuolus uh, Dolphins, I think, or at least he should. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go with the Patriots in that. Now, here's an easy one. You got the Saints at the Eagles. I'm going to go with the Eagles. Especially, I don't even really care if... Um, I don't really uh, care if, you know, their quarterback, I forget his name, um, <clears throat> uh, if he's not ready uh, yet. Um, and they still have to go with uh, Minshew. Hey, Minshew scored like 34 points. He dropped a 34 on Dallas last week. So even if they got to go with Minshew, I still think they're going to beat the Saints. Um, you know, um, I'm going to go with the Eagles there. Next one you got is the Colts and the Giants. This is kind of easy. I think I'm going to go with the Giants because the Colts are just tor horrible. They're they're terrible. Um, they, I mean, they've won like one game under Jeff Saturday, and that was against a not very good team, as I recall. Next game we have now. This is going to be a big one: Panthers and Bucks. I am going with the Panthers. The Buccaneers just cannot win anything. TB12 is terrible. They did win last week, the Buccaneers did, but they had to do it in overtime. And it was like it was like um 20 to 20 to 14 or something like that. So or 20 to 16. I don't know what it was, but um <clears throat> So, uh the next one we have is the uh, Broncos are at the Chiefs. Again, you know my formula. My formula is pick the Chiefs when they play almost anybody. Uh, there's probably teams now that I would pick the Chiefs to lose to, but uh, <laughs> the Broncos ain't one of them. So uh, let's go next to the uh, the Bears at the Lions. Now, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go out on a little limb here. I'm going to surprise some people, and I'm going to take the Bears because the Lions are just a wild card. They're just they're crazy. From week to week, they're a completely different team. One week, they're very good. The next week, they're terrible. And the Bears have been pretty consistently playing good football. They just have been overmatched by their competition. But I don't think the Lions are a team that really – overmatches the Bears. And I think that um, Justin Fields can do some, uh, he can do some damage with his legs and he's learning to be able to do some damage with his arm. So I'm going to take the Bears in that game. The next one we have is the Browns at the Commanders. I'm going to go with the Browns. I think the Commanders are reeling now. They're in disarray. They were playing some good football, but then something happened. And they stopped playing good football. So I'm going to go with the Browns. They've got, <coughs> there it is, there's the cough. They've got um, Deshaun Watson, you know, in like his fourth game now, fourth or fifth game. He should be starting to hit his stride, I would think. And I think it's going to be enough to overcome the commanders. Now, here's another tough one. You got the Jags at the Texans. The Texans are just playing for a pick. That's all they're playing for. But the Jags could actually make the playoffs. That's something to play for. And this game is in, in Texas. So it's very tough because the Texans have been playing good football. They have, they have, I mean, they've lost, but they have been playing good football. So this is as tough as this is. I'm going to take the Jaguars because the Jaguars are playing for something. And if they can't beat the Texans, if you're headed to the playoffs, if you can win out and you can't beat the Texans, you just don't deserve it. And the Jags know that. So I'm taking the Jaguars there. 
Next one you got is the 49ers at the Raiders. I'm going with the 49ers. I mean, the Raiders, they just haven't, they just haven't gelled this this year at all. And I don't know if, you know, Josh McDaniels or Josh Daniels or McDan I Mc McD Mickey D's. I don't know if he has to come up with a different plan, a different game plan, but the Raiders just offensively are just not good. And um I mean defensively they're adequate, but they're just wasting that defense with the with bad offensive play. The 49ers though are hitting on all cylinders even with a third string quarterback as their quarterback. So yeah. Next one I got Jets at Seahawks. Again, this is a tough one. Is Mike White going to play? Is Zach Wilson going to play? Is um, Flacco going to play even? I don't know. I have no idea. And the, I think the Jets have just kind of fallen apart. And this game is in Seattle where they've got the 12th man. So I am going to go with uh, Geno Smith and the 12th man and uh, all that good Seattle stuff that they got going on up there. Next one we have is the Vikings at the Packers. This game is in Green Bay. And for that reason, I was thinking momentarily about taking the Packers. But then I remembered they got their asses handed to them by minnesota in week one and that minnesota they might get down early but they figure out a way to win the game so i am going to go with minnesota i'm going to go with minnesota yes to sweep the packers this year when would you ever hear that statement but i think that's what's going to happen the next one we have is the, I, I would say the Rams at the Chargers, but really nobody is away in this game. They're both home because this is the home stadium. SoFi Stadium is the home stadium for both teams. But then you go to the next level of criteria, and that is what's the better team. And it is the Chargers, although the Chargers did look like a wet noodle kind of against the Colts last week. But the Rams just look like a wet noodle, period. The next one we have is the Steelers and the Ravens, the black and blue division. And these two teams, when they get together, there's a lot of hate in the air. And uh, with that, having been said, and even with the Ravens being at home, I'm going with the Steelers because the Ravens, they're not they're not playing very good football. Whatever game you see that they've won lately, they were lucky to win it. They just are not a good team. And finally, the Monday night game, the Bills at the Bengals. You know what? This game is in Cincinnati. I am going with the Bengals because I think the Bills lately have only been winning games because the competition has been severely worse than they were. But in this case, well, that ain't the case in this case. The Bengals are a good team, and I think the Bengals at home are going to beat the Bills. So those are my picks. How do you guys like them? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know your picks or where you differ with me. Certainly, there's a lot of room for you to differ with me because I had a lot of picks that were close games that are tough to call, and I had to go one way or the other on them. Um, but I'm hoping to get like a good 10 or 11 wins out of this group of games, but that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke signing off.